We're here with Admiral Brass. Unsinkable. Um, this is pretty cool. Apparently it's a very annoying commander. I haven't really seen it that much. Um, but I can kind of see how this is pretty devastating to play against, right? It's not a lot of graveyard hate looming around. Um, when it enters, you mill four. And you can reanimate pirates every turn. Uh, and they have haste. And they're four fours. So that's pretty cool. So you just run all the good pirates. And that's about it. You know, you just play pirates. Uh, not my first time playing pirates. But definitely a different style of playing pirates. This is very, very good once it gets going. You just have to do that. So how do you get pirates in your graveyard? Well, what I'm doing is... Um, looting effects, so I draw cards and I discard cards, right? And the cards I discard, hopefully you're pirates. <laughs> uh, you can run some mill, because you're blue and you're black, but I think you don't want to overdo it. You can still just play your pirates, and if your opponent isn't answering your annoying pirates, then they might be losing to those. And if they do answer them, you get to reanimate them later. So you don't necessarily have to be super deep in trying to get pirates in your graveyard yourself. You can make room for better things. The only thing that's questionable here to me, because um, <clears throat> I felt like it might be necessary with a 5-mana commander, is I have all the rocks. Now, there's an argument that this is too... Like, they're in the way too much, and I'd rather this chunk of my deck be more pirates... Counterspell, um, Lightning Bolt, stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to start with these. I have this in here because it kind of loots slowly initially. Anything that like draws and discards, I like. Um, the treasure cards, too, even. Uh, they not only do that, but they also ramp you to this faster, right? But I don't have much of a use for treasures. The deck does kind of stop at four mana. I don't think there's any... Artifact matters cards, really. I mean, there's Lannery Storm, I guess. But it's not that crucial to, like, have 50 treasures in play or something like that. I'm not running that weird enchantment that wins the game if you have, what, like 20 treasures or something. <laughs> You'd have to, like, not spend them, too. But, uh, yeah, I might even be able to get away with shaving some lands. But for now, I'm not going to because, well, I don't know. The last deck I was playing, in the last video, had 40 lands. And I, I was getting a little unlucky, which is surprising with the land drops. But um, And this deck probably needs lands a little bit more than that deck does. I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a current trend with me. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at 40. Um, that's really about it. It feels straightforward. There are some lists I saw, because uh, I was curious about the pirate count, because mine felt kind of low, but I'm kind of, I'm on the lower end, but looking at lists, there's some interesting cards that I don't necessarily agree with, like there's the super curiosity effect cards, um, yeah, there's this, and there's another one of this, um, that I think you choose a creature type, obviously you choose pirate, and you just draw every time you smack your opponent. I'm not too big of a fan of these cards. Like, I can see how they're good, but once you get going and you're beating your opponent up with a bunch of 4-4s, four you don't really need to draw a bunch of cards after the fact, right? You still have... You just have a bunch of pressure in play that your opponent's probably not answering because they're being repeatedly hit. So I don't really like this. It is categorically different from the actual curiosity effects. Like, I, I'm not playing these, and I would play these first. So there's that. I'm also not playing, like, Cyclonic Rift, Sleep, um, River's Rebuke. I think I just want to be more in... Like, there's... I don't want to be all over the place. I want to be more tightly packed and more straightforward. A little more linear, um, which might be a bad thing. I don't know. But that's just where I want to start. Obviously, we can mess with the deck as we go. This card seems interesting. Um, you cannot reanimate it because it is not a changeling, right? Yeah, it's not a changeling. Um, but with this in play, this basically happens twice, so that's just insane, right? And it comes in before your commander would, quote-unquote, right? Unless you've been ramping past four. So that's just something to take note of, I guess. Same with um, Metallic Mimic. Again, 
This is a shapeshifter. It does not have changeling, which is interesting. Uh, there's not a lot of shapeshifters that don't have that. Uh, so you can't actually reanimate this with your commander, which makes it less appealing. But it does cost two, so you would expect it to be in play before your commander is um, in games in which you would have drawn it. Right? You can mill this, and then it's useless because there's no way to get it back. <laughs> No way of getting that card back. That's something I don't really like too much about it, but it costs two, so I'm willing to give it a try. And it's colorless, so I'm never screwed at a uh, color screwed with it. Um, we do mill ourselves quite a bit, so I have, I believe, yep, Croxa I put in here because there's other things I'll be getting rid of that aren't just pirates. Seems reasonable enough, and even still, this is kind of just fine to exile some pirates with and not feel too bad about it, especially if this died like twice or something. Uh, and then you shoot, you can put this in your graveyard and then use it for Croxa fodder and then move it out of the graveyard to the command zone after. So it seems fine. Same with this. It's a looting engine. You don't have to do the ninja thing to get the plus to not discard. Sometimes you want to discard, so you plus it before combat. Seems fine to me. I don't hate it. It costs three mana. Is it better than Underworld Connections? I don't know. Probably not, <laughs> but I like it. It's been a while since I've played it, so it's in here. And that's about it, yep. And the rest of the deck is a bunch of big pirates, big, dumb, random pirates that we just like to reanimate and beat our opponent up with. So let's see how we do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just going to scam my opponent, I guess. Unless they can deal with it. They are green. You can play Minotaur. They basically have to. They do not. Alright, this game just got way harder for them. Could have played a land first. Maybe I find something I want to, like, cheat out. Did not. Crucius is stupid good right now. I can discard my pirate. Alright, yep. Yeah, this is my... Pl I just played, like, Ragavan into Crucius. Like, the, the, both of these are just ob absolutely obscene cards. Turn one on the play, turn two. <laughs> That's just... And then it starts making more treasures, and more treasures, and yeah, it's just, yeah. Okay, on the play with Ragavan, let's see if I just scam my opponent. Nope. Yep. <laughs> it's just, I've literally, I have literally never played Ragavan and not just won the game. Okay, I've never seen this card in my life. That's neat. Oh, look, we got the old one. We have, like, the best card ever, but we don't necessarily have a way to cast it. I still think I like this hand. I'm confident I'll find a red source. But, yeah, we have, like, the best card. And we might draw some more pirates in the meantime, too, right? It's Fable the Passage. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is also good. Yeah, I just like all the cards in my hand. Don't you do it. Okay. Look like Ragavan for a second. Alright, this would be nice to play, but I think this is just more up my alley. Especially when I'm anticipating what seems like some kind of lightning bolt. Okay, now problems are arising. I will just play this. Doesn't have flash. Huh, wasn't expecting that. That's kind of different. Do we cast our commander on three? Nope. We leave up that red spell that they had turn one. Curious. So, everything I play... I anticipate Lightning Bolt, so I don't like this. I could just play this. I could play this, but it does make something that dies. Um, I am looking for another land. Let's just do this. I can get rid of... some cards here. Basically everything, I think. Maybe you keep this, though. I like that a lot. Well, hand got a little bit worse, but not the end of the world. Can play with this hand. If my opponent leaves up blue mana, I'm not going to play this. Unfortunately, this is a 3-3. Notable that my opponent did not cast Goldspan Dragon there. I feel like I would have. My opponent just allowed me to have a trigger of my commander. Which is very surprising to me. Very interesting. Yep, 
Yep, I mean, yep, why not? Do the swingies. It gets me out of lightning bolt range, too. My opponent does essentially get to hit me for quite a bit, though. I had no creature before my actual commander, which is unfortunate. My opponent also... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This could be a big problem here. Okay, it was a lightning bolt, and I guess a second burn spell. Wouldn't have been able to anticipate that one. I mean, you have to cast it at this point. There you go. Okay, my opponent just gave up. Um, they killed my commander, though, right? They did kill this. I didn't really have much of an answer to this. The rocks get in the way of two drops as well. Something to take note of. And there are a lot of two-mana pirates. That is notable. It's just, there's more reason that I don't like the rocks that much, or they're questionable, but I still don't hate them. This might be... I guess I put this on red? Uh, actually, given my hand, it doesn't matter. Opponent probably mulligan specifically for this, which makes sense. I would do the same. Let us play this on red. Crucius is pretty, pretty good right now. Um, that was a very good draw. That was a very good draw, actually. This makes it so if they do actually have something stupid, I can uh, not immediately lose the game to it. I like that a lot. I like it more than I don't. It does mean no Crucius, though. And if they don't have anything, I can just maybe loot. Okay, I definitely don't care about that. My opponent played lands out of hand first. Doesn't really make any sense. Alright, I'm going to counter that. So they can't play lands off the top. I want them to draw this for the turn. I did find a land. I think playing my commander is better than anything else. Uh, good chance I mill a pirate. If I don't, can start getting rid of my hand. I did not mill a pirate. My opponent should field the ruin me to shuffle away the top of their deck. And again, they should not be playing lands out of hand first. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, they had three lands. Imagine they didn't courser or play land out of hand. They would have actually had that ability. Um, None of my hand actually works right now. Let us play... Which one's like the best to just play? I guess this one, just to play it. And there's no attack. Get rid of you. That is not a land. It makes lands, but it itself is not a land. That was a good draw. Look at that. Got my thing. Let's play... You. And then swing with you. This is kind of scary, but like, not... Not really. Okay, well, now... Well, I mean, I actually... I can't counter it, but... Short. Yeah, this is not really a big deal. Yep, opponent sees the writing on the wall. Um, yeah, I, this this would have been even better too if I actually counterspelled something. Like I took a turn off and just didn't counterspell something because I didn't have anything. But uh, my opponent mulliganed for a one mana, uh, a mana dork, which makes sense playing Azusa, and then they just didn't really have any payoff at all with their commander, and if they didn't have uh, Corsair Crufix, my opponent was going to draw like three three forests in a row or something, and this game would have been just even... Um, it, we just wouldn't have had a game at all. So. so this commander is pretty easy to stonewall. 
assuming my opponent doesn't have a thousand um, unsummons and stuff. They are on the play, though. That's the problem. If I was on the play, this would be, like, way easier. But it's still fine. I'm, I mean, I'm just going to keep anything that stonewalls my opponent's commander. Okay, yep, this is the logic behind it. My opponent must answer things that stonewall their commander. <laughs> they they must do that. Alright, no spell pierce, please. Of course we have it. Why wouldn't we? Oh, miscast, even better. Alright, need a second red source. Yep, my opponent dealt with both of the things I had to stop their commander. So now this game just got so, so, so much more difficult. Let us play you and pass. And then, like, Spectral Sailor later. I could have, like, maybe big scored instead. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to cast Big Score. Getting rid of, uh, Seize the Spoils. Alright, so casting this is fine if it gets countered, because all I'm trying to do is have a window to kill their commander. Actually, if this resolves, I think my opponent's completely screwed. It will resolve. Unbelievable. They had a four-minute counterspell. Well. This is uh, very difficult to come out of, I think. Could be wrong. But uh, now my opponent has to just deal with deal with um, another layer of things that stonewall their commander. Which, I mean, it's still beatable. They can still do stuff here. Okay, that's interesting. Do we have another answer? Nope. Alright, so this, this is probably just game then. I don't know what my opponent can do to come out of this. They can cast Memory. Um, okay, Blind Discover 5 doesn't really make a lot of sense when your deck is full of counter spells. Doesn't actually really do anything at all, actually. It's kind of strange. Yep. Nice. Said hand. It seems like I'm struggling to get all three colors at the same time with this deck, which is kind of annoying can reevaluate, but I don't know. I don't like all the tap lands, but maybe I can just play a bunch. Because I do... I am a bit slower. But I mean, I have multicolored things to do on turn two a lot. This, uh... Yeah, alright. This is like the repeating weird thing with stuff. Uh, I could kill this, but I also... But I also don't want to. Maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should have. Okay, that's moderately problematic. Um, I think I have to do this because I need to. I need to find lands. I need to find lands. Okay, I messed up there. I definitely messed up. I should have discarded two cards. That was my mistake. I definitely messed that up. Hopefully it doesn't punish me too much, though. 
It's not looking too good right now. My opponent notably never actually tapped that mana thing to find a land. Okay, I found a land. It's also a blue source. I guess I'm playing my commander. Yeah, I really should have, like, played that differently, though, for sure. Well, I mean, yeah, let's just get the chorus going, I guess. Don't hate that. Loot away this Admiral Brass, too. And my opponent doesn't have a graveyard for their commander, so tapping off of this is fine. Okay, I will survive the loss of my con commander pretty deci- Okay. Um, does my opponent not know how this works? I don't think you can afford to do that, my friend. I don't think you can afford to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll trade. I'll trade with the 1-3. So they can't activate it. That's fine. I feel like I'm winning the longer the game goes on. So I can kind of do whatever I want. Sort of. Okay, let's leave up. Let's leave up these. I'm just going to not do anything. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have killed my Admiral. That's alright. I think I do want to play this and then, like, loot away things later. So I guess I just don't play a land? I guess I could just loot now. Yeah. Why not? Ragavan. Is that better than anything else? I don't think so. Um, My opponent, again, doesn't have a graveyard. Yeah, I think I'm going to loot away like this. I'm going to spend my mana. And I can find a... I can probably find a blue source. I did. Also found this card. I assume my opponent has, like, Veil of Summer? I don't know what's one green that takes a thousand years. Oh no, it's the moving counters on this thing. I see. Oh no, my... What does this do? So now they have an indestructible 4-4. Four four, which is problem. That is certainly a problem. I don't know how to get around that. Um, sure. Alright, that worked out quite nicely for me. Again, indestructible, so I can't really swing. I can swing with this and make them... Maybe I can just swing through their 4-4? Four -four? Alright, oh yeah, let's just like force the issue. This has Menace, this has Trample, this has Flying. Yeah, I can just push through it with enough damage over time. Not going to play this as much as it might make sense to. I think leaving this up is better. Oh, wait. We know about... um. We know about a Veil of Summer, right? No, the activation on this is the one mana ability. That's why the one mana is mattering. It's the activation on that. I believe Mutate always stays the same cost. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. Okay, I think having two 4-4s four a turn is quite a bit for my opponent to deal with. Breach the multiverse, jeez. Uh, okay, so let's go to combat. Give me you, another flyer. Yep, yeah, alright. I think, yeah, that's just too much. So, my concern with uh, this being in the way wasn't that big of a deal. When this is happening twice, I'm just going to be doing it so fast that my opponent doesn't have time to get to their commander anyways because of this thing, so... Nice. Okay, Tiamat. Tiamat seems to be the least relevant of the five color commanders as the commander itself, right? It's just the deck that's the problem. Um, okay, I like the Faithless looting. 
Shoot, I kind of like everything in my hand. But I have things to discard early, so I don't feel bad about doing this. And I guess that, yeah, that's fine. Strike it, Rich. Ooh, maybe I should be playing that. Hmm, maybe. That is uh, pretty annoying. I mean, it could have been a Ragavan, the game could have just been straight over, but it wasn't. I have no answer to that. Would have loved an answer to that, but nope. Alright, this has Ward 2. Could be hard to deal with. Opponent just doesn't care about it. Also makes sense. Could just easily kill my commander. And then I am uh, kind of screwed. Oh, hey, it's Croxa. Nice. Um, you and you. All right, it's up to my opponent to have a sweeper or something, I think. Nice. All right, looks like they have no sweeper, and we beat um, a very good early ramp session there, which is really nice. Really cool. They had like a 2 into a 4 into a 6 into a, was it like a 7 or 8? It was just like the most perfect sequence for that Giora. Okay, let's see what happens this game. I'll probably get rid of uh, these two. I don't know how relevant it is to actually play this, but it could be. Either way, I'm going to play this. Let's get rid of you and... Maybe I'll just get rid of these two, actually. I would like to kind of just actually play this. I don't hate that. Okay, now we're banking on a mana rock from the opponent, but flickering the kite sail freebooter is kind of fine. It draws a card, I get to see what's going on, disrupt the hand, yada yada yada. The new explorer and the old explorer. We do not keep it. Okay, um... Yep. I signed up for this, so I'm going to do it. Opponent has River's Rebuke. Of course they do. Let's play you. A lot of tribal decks lately. A whole lot of tribal decks. What do we do now? I guess I'm playing this to guarantee my commander next turn. Otherwise, I just don't have a land. But I don't have anything to go with it. I think that's fine. I don't know. We'll see what happens. They do have an... Okay, never mind. They no, no longer have an Odawara. My opponent uh, did not cast... They can stifle? Okay, they can stifle. But they can't hard counter. That is totally fine with me. I don't see a hard counter, but they can stifle the trigger. Which side do you stifle? The mill? Well, of course you stifle the mill. I don't have a pirate. And then we pass. This is fine, though, right? This is still in play. I don't have a way to stop my opponent from doing degenerate stuff, though, is the problem. This doesn't really do much. Actually, it kills my own pirate. They can just uh, hex catcher that, though. So that actually isn't terribly useful. That is incredibly surprising to me. I feel like that's... I don't know what the rest of the hand looks like, but... Don't be crass and harass Admiral Brass. Amen. Alright, my opponent took themselves off of Hexcatcher. They say, Stonewall is the best wall. So I can kill this and this with this. Reanimate this, get a treasure, and then not really do anything after that. But what else am I doing, really? I should play this while I can, before my opponent has Hex Catcher. So I guess I will. Okay, they want to just tap because this would die, but they could have tapped anyways. So I don't really agree with this. And then... I reanimate... My captain or my freebooter? I guess I'd take the freebooter so I don't get hit by the thing there. And do I swing? Let's see. My creature is probably big enough and I have to get this game done. So yeah, I'm going to swing. Because I think the longer it goes on, the worse it is for me. Can I, re can I use this next turn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 
nine. Not quite. All right, their merfolk have ward two. I am slowly running out of time. Let's get rid of you, you, uh, you, and you, because I'm going to cast you normally. Actually, maybe I have to keep that. This would be my next permanent. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do actually have to play another permanent to take an extra turn. I have never in my life activated this card, so that's pretty neat. I don't have to do it right now, but I think I will. I don't see any kind of downside. Except maybe taking two turns in a row later, but I don't know what that really looks like. Why do I care about that? Alright, let's do this. Didn't draw anything terribly useful. Let us do this. Okay, deck. Calm down. Calm yourself. Um, Malcolm? No, I mean, we just gotta... We don't really have a choice here. Okay, um, do I play this? I guess I do. Just put more in play, and there's not, like, I'm leaving, I'm not leaving up any cards, so. Um, given the board state, they might have to draw and not put counters on everything. Because I don't know if big stats is where you want to be. It's not like I'm being alpha striked. So you probably have to draw. Nope, opponent completely disagrees. So do you have sleep in hand? Nope. They whiffed on that, but not too big of a deal. They're dead in the air. Again, I think they should have drawn a card there instead of put counters on their stuff. Yep, see? I think they should have drawn a card, but they, they got, in, they got like uh, trapped and enticed in tapping this for the stats. Probably because most people don't get to the stats part, because once you do, you usually win because you have five merfolk getting larger and larger. But uh, if the board state's gummed up, I met basically almost my starting life total um and you're you're dead on board adding stats doesn't do anything <clears throat> excuse me it doesn't do anything you have to you have to draw cards to get yourself out of this okay big red is usually spooky scary it's very easy for them to kill a 332 which is problematic okay i mean yeah this is it's probably going to be a rough matchup Okay, um... Sure. Looks like they do have early interaction, and I'm not upset about that at all. Oh, and exiles? Whatever. Actually toxic. No mana rock. Actually not toxic. Toxicity levels decreasing. Okay, so we take action. Any pirate. Any pirate. This one, to get a better hand. I mean, yes. It also gives me something to do next turn. It also could give me stuff in the graveyard for my commander. So, Alright, they shuffled it away with the perfect land. Of course they did. Let us get a blue. That is the most relevant I've ever seen a demolition field in my life. That exiles too. Okay, I guess we're just doing the perfect exile strategy. We got it. Opponent has done an insane job at dealing with everything I'm doing so far. Alright, I don't anticipate this minuses on my ornithopter. Well, shoot. Hostage Taker is pretty useful right now. Let's get rid of you and you. Uh, 
Colossus Taker is the only target. Don't really have a choice. Um, do I just hide my commander under my hostage taker? Does that make any sense? I feel like it makes sense. I feel like this is hilarious, and I'm going to do it. So I decline. And then I swing. And then if they ever kill the hostage taker, I get my commander back. So this plays around some kind of annoying board wipe that they might have. Their big Chandra can't really just kill my hostage taker. So this seems pretty useful. I can even flicker this to get this back at some point. Alright, it worked out. It worked out. Please hit a pirate. Looks like I did. Um, see if I find something better. Not quite. Guess I'm getting rid of this. I'd rather not. But I really, really want a Thought Seize. Alright, I have to kill their main commander. I just literally have to do that. There's not much I can... There's not much decision there. Sure. Hey, that's a good thing for my commander. Alright, this has worked out. That hostage taker choice was extremely... That was really huge. Okay, so they can play the other sweeper, but it kills their... Wait, what does this do? Three damage to each creature. Do I cycle this? I think I do. My opponent doesn't kill it. They could have killed it in response, but they just didn't. Oh, right, because they can also kill this. Right, right, right. That makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need a land if I don't draw one. Um, we're back to... Uh-oh. Of course, why would I? Why would I draw a land, right? Yep, that's probably game. I needed to draw a land right there, and I didn't, so I probably just lose now. And my opponent, all, my opponent draws a land for their commander because, of course, they do. Yep, whatever. That's just, that's just game. And now I draw a land. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't think I'm coming out of this. That was just too. I could not stumble like that. I can't afford to stumble. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something still. Just don't see it as a thing that is going to happen. So. I don't even have a Crucius trigger. It's just absolutely atrocious. Maybe I want Atlantery Storm instead of Crucius. Maybe it doesn't matter, because I'm going to get my stuff blown up anyways. Opponent destroys two lands and sweeps my board. Yep, you got it. Yep, like I said, I literally lose because I missed a land that turn. If I did not miss a land, I think I'm in an excellent spot. Like, I'm in a totally fine spot. I kill their Chandra. They cannot cast this Chandra again. And uh, we do lose the board again to this. But then I can, like, play a game of Magic and not just lose to... They also, not only did I have to miss a land, my opponent had to draw a Mana Source. So, two things had to happen, and they both happened for my opponent. So, um, yeah. It sucks when it boils down to just, like, that. But uh, that was a cool game up until the very end. But, I mean, someone has to lose, right? Someone has to lose. It just happened to be me. <laughs> it only sucks because I was the one that didn't win. But it, it sucks. It boils down to such a like, like player player agency kind of flew out the window at the end. Which just really unfortunate because it was a. I like that game. Okay, I don't think I like this hand against Kulain. Actually, I, I definitely don't like this hand against Kulain. This hand is a lot better. You can go away. And then we thought see. Take that Minidork. 
opponent does not have a Mended Orc. They have a bunch of stuff I don't really care about except O'Hare, which is a little annoying. Maybe I can beat it by ignoring it. Yep, we're just going to stumble our opponent and ignore O'Hare, which is the same mana cost as your commander. So you have to make a choice in that regard. So O'Hare probably doesn't come down that turn anyways. Um, yep, got nothing. So I'll probably find lands with Crucius by just like discarding Siren Storm Tamer, probably. I think it still makes sense to do that. My opponent is holding priority because they can sack this to the Haywhite Mire to target Haywhite Mire, which is why it looks kind of goofy. Um, I'm going to do Greater now because I did draw a land. I'm just going to do Greater. I don't need Crucius anymore. Whoa. Destiny Spinner, huh? Well, it is a creature. It works with Kulain, and obviously it's got a pretty useful effect on it. Fair enough. No answer to Crucius is obviously really good for us as well. Guess we'll just uh, run out the old commander. Do we have Menatai the Reprieve? We do not. Do we have Swords of Plowshares? Looks like we don't. We do not. Alright, cool. Take the old eventually get an extra turn in 10 years card. Love it. And then I guess I can actually swing with it. So I'm kind of hoping they play their commander and not the O'Hare next turn. Um, I have to do lesser because I discarded a four and there are no... There are no fives up and up. Yeah, they can sack it to target a treasure, but I didn't have a treasure at the time. I was just referring to that specific turn cycle in which my opponent had a... Uh, they had... Um, I'm drawing a huge... They, they, oh, they were the only one with the treasure. That's why it was looking like that. All right, this was an insane draw, but I can't discard it to the O'Hare and, and steal the O'Hare this turn. But I still will cast it. Yeah, they had a treasure. They had a treasure. But Haywire Might can target itself. Um, so that's probably what was going on there. All right, so let's reanimate... I'm going to reanimate this to protect my hostage taker. I will not do anything else, and I will pass. Let's get rid of you, greater. If I had another mana source, I could actually take an extra turn, too. This is a very good spot to be in. They have to have a board wipe, I think. Yeah, my opponent has to have a sweeper, but Kulain, just like the uh, Sultai version, the Zara and whatever, I can't remember the name of it, uh, you just, you can't run sweepers, right? That, that like, w it would be insane to run board wipes. And, uh, now that I had hostage taker on this, they have to deal with this, like, this turn. Otherwise, I'm getting this, and once I get this, it's just gonna be very difficult for them to come out of this. And that doesn't even stop my primary game plan. Like, I still had another pirate coming, or actually two. Yeah, I still just had all the gas in the world. Crucius was smoothing out my draws. I had another draw discard here. I just had every... I had an extra turn, too. Like, yeah, I, I had five different angles this game, and my opponent did not have an answer to a single one of them. I think the game is going to be over before I build a strategy anyway, so I'm just going to kind of keep any hand and see what happens. Like, this is just a good card in general, and I'll keep it on the back of that and see, see how it pans out. I don't know. I'm not too confident going into this matchup, so... Crucius was a good draw, but I anticipate removal. Because that's kind of all Atraxa does, is cast removal spells. Okay, this is not that normal of an Atraxa strategy, but poison is something you can do. Let us play Crucius, because I have a lot of lands, and I'm fine with getting a trigger this turn, instead of just discarding all my lands to this thing. I think that's fine. Can also draw pretty good cards like that. But I will actually get hit with the poison counter, which is a problem. I'm not going to block. This is probably like the best Fiend Hunter, isn't it? Because Fiend Hunter is a 3 minute 1 3. And then the other one. No, no, the werewolf one that flips and repeatedly exiles might just be better than this one, I would argue, so. 
I mean, if you're not playing your commander this turn and you're dealing with this, I, I'll take that. Okay, that's kind of like... Okay, they basically just played their commander, actually. This does kind of the same thing. Sure. Okay, so do I play my commander? I mean, I guess. Uh, just doesn't... I don't know. This feels bad. Everything feels kind of bad right now. But I will deal. Yeah, this is pretty fragile. Everything that's happening right now is very fragile. I accidentally hit expedient. I am dumb. I am big dumb. I'll accept that. I'll accept the dumbness. I hope my opponent dire fleets, or gives me something to dire fleet that might actually kill something. If they have a removal spell with uh, on their on my commander or something, I can maybe steal it. Should be moderately useful. It looks like that is in fact the case. I mean, if they're really confused, just play this first. I can't imagine it's that hard to like figure out how to leave up a removal spell and cast your commander. I feel like that's pretty easy, but they do it the slow way. All right, well, that's not what I meant by removal spell. But uh, if they swing, I block, so it dies nonetheless. They do not. Okay. I have no way of sacrificing this, but I can flicker it. I guess I just lead with that. I just don't draw a card. But we are dying pretty quickly. Let us play... This can't steal anything but instant sorcery... I guess I make my opponent discard one of the two cards in hand and just get to Acroxa at some point faster than not getting to Acroxa at some point. They get rid of Cyclonic Rift. Now that's a good Dire Fleet Daredevil target, let me tell you. I will put this in play so I cannot take damage from their commander in the air. And it also has, you know its ability, which is pretty useful. Alright, let's not misclick this time. Well, actually, I mean, I could hit something off of this. I didn't discard a land. Okay, I have never played Kaito in this deck yet. My opponent is under no incentive to block, and they're proliferating two a turn, so I'm running out of turns very quickly. There's no reason to counter this. Um, I can mount Doom. That is something I can do. What is it? It's like choose... Destroy the rest. Okay, so I choose up the two creatures, destroy the rest. So I can blow up everything except my commander. And I guess they're delighted halfling? Or no, I maybe just this thing. Yeah, probably just that thing. Yeah. I guess I literally have to do that or I am basically dead. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excuse me, I can choose two of my own creatures. I can choose two of my own. Okay, I'm one mana off though, so why wouldn't I be? Um, Assassin's Trophy doesn't feel like it makes any sense. Actually, my hand just feels horrible. Like maybe I'm just playing Croxa. I think I'm just playing Croxa. Uh, yeah, I really want it to have that, but I just don't have it, so. Okay, swing, swing. Opponent just takes it. So I can just leave up... No, I can't, though. This doesn't have flash. Ugh. Maybe I just play this. This is all just, like, really not good. Yeah, fine. Kaito protects himself, so I don't have to worry about him dying. Fine. Alright, so I don't want them to draw land, but I also kind of do. But it does proliferate. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. That was actually a really good draw. A land proliferates. That is fine. That's fine. It dies to the Mount Doom that my opponent apparently is not does not have on their radar. And now I think they're actually just straight dead? 
9, 10, 11, 12. They are straight dead now, I think. Uh, they're proliferating the finality counters. That's funny. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so yep. I draw, I go to 10. Ooh, can I discard that this turn? Ooh, I can. Oh, but the shield is a problem. Okay, let's not get cute. I wanted to take an extra turn, but, like, I guess it doesn't matter what I what I do in this spot here. Swim. Oh my goodness, I don't have a legendary artifact. Oh my goodness. What have I actually done? I can't play the game the way I thought I could. Alright, problem. Problem, problem. Can I Assassin's Trophy my own permanent? Nope. So I have to Assassin's Trophy their Shieldred. Wow, I can't believe I didn't notice that. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I am sorry. The card does not work at all in the way I thought it In fact, I probably can't activate this at all in my deck now. I didn't realize that. So this is why you read things. By the way, this Assassin's Trophy proliferates, so if my opponent draws a land and casts a track, so I am dead. Um, yep, that was just really bad. So let's put a stop here so I don't screw anything up. Discard my extra turny thingy. And then reanimate said extra turny thingy. And then swing with you, you, you. And that is it. Opponent has to do some blocks. I had to do this pre-combat to discard on the plus. They block, block, block. They would have taken six. No, it was not It was not lethal if I swung all out. Was it? Wait a minute. Did I miss lethal? Swing all out. They block, block, block. They take six. No. Okay. They would have not have ever have died. So I can kill this with this, but I want the Crucius Treasure Token, as long as I don't mess this up. Alright, so I do this. I get rid of... I guess it doesn't really matter. You... Greater. And then activate this with the treasures. Alright, so now we just win this way. That works too. That was super close. I almost punted it, relying too heavily on the Mount Doom. Super, super sketchy by me there, but, uh, ooh, worked out. Boy, was that sketchy. <laughs> Whoa, was that sketchy. This is why you read cards. I don't even think I want this card in my deck now. So, I like this commander. I like the pirate strategy. Um, there, this does cost five. So it's a little steep, right? And that's why I really wanted the Mana Rocks. But there were some games where it kind of felt all right to just play something else on turn two. But usually it would have just been a, a Mana Rock if I had an option between the two. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but with that being said, if these were just interactive spells like removal and counter magic... Um, it's kind of fine to go that direction as well. Uh, so either or, but this strategy is definitely more linear, right? You're just getting to your commander faster, but I can totally see how we don't want that. We want more pirates in interaction and be fine. Although the pirate count did feel fine. It didn't, there were not many times this was in play and I didn't have a pirate to reanimate. Um, if I didn't already have one, it does mill four, and I'm, I'm pretty likely to hit one, so it's not too crazy. But if you are nervous about the pirate count, you could probably go up a few more, right? And the first thing I would do is probably just take out the Mana Rocks and play a more interactive game. There were some games where if I had some interaction, I, I would have just been better than having what I was doing, the Mana Rocks. But uh, with that being said, I think I ended up going like 11 and 4, and, or 11 and 5. I think it was 11 and 4. And the games I lost didn't really, wouldn't have fundamentally changed had I had a bunch of interaction. 
I think maybe one or two of those losses, I'll have to see, I'll go back and look, um, had had something to do with me not being able to interact. But for the most part, that really didn't matter that much because, again, I went 11-4, and four, right? Like, I still was totally fine. Uh, two of those games were just turn one Ragavan and your opponent just scoops because this is stupid. Um, I've never lost a game playing Ragavan on turn one. I have literally never lost since I crafted it like a week ago. Every red deck, just put it in. You play this turn one. If you're on the play, it is. You literally have a 20% higher chance of winning the game. Your chances just go up uh, exponentially when you play this on the play. On the draw, not so much. But on the play with this turn one, you your opponent might just scoop. They might not even let you hit them. Uh, it's just such a stupid it, death touch for players. <laughs> um, but yeah, the interaction was decent enough. Like this might be something, it might be better as a different card because this is double blue. And I noticed that was hard to get all three colors and um, still cast double you know, colored spells, and I think this is really, what, the only one other than the treasure stuff up here, right? But this was kind of hard to cast, and it's also kind of hard to leave this up, um, because my turn three does have a bunch of other things it can very easily be and not ever leave this up. So this might just be better as a different interactive spell, like another one minute, like lightning bolt or something. Could just be better than this. The draw discard is why I liked it, because it's also, you know, counterspell, or I can discard pirates for my commander. But that never really came up. Like, I was fine never needing this. I, I never really needed this card specifically, so... It could be something else, for sure. But uh, as the list stood, it was fine. I really like Croxa. That was really nice. There's plenty of things in your graveyard. I never had a problem with that. This card was excellent. I really liked this card. Uh, doubling your commander is just... Awesome. Even if you only have, like, one pirate, milling eight when this enters was fine. Um, it doubles other things, too. Like, it doubles your rowdy crew. It doubled my, uh, that other pirate. The, where are you? The best pirate ever. <laughs> Hostage taker. Doubling this was funny. <laughs> um, I think it doubles this trigger, too, if you somehow hit them with a bunch of pirates and they're not just dead because you're hitting them with a bunch of four fours. This could also trigger twice, but that never came up. But uh, yeah, I liked it. I like this uh, strategy. There's room for um, variants too. Like, again, you can just play probably 15 to 20 different cards than I did and be kind of fine. You can look at the mana base more. Um, I could take out more basics and add a little bit more fetches because my turn one play is pretty light so I can get away with turn one tap lands so I can probably run something like evolving wilds or maestros whatever the weird evolving wilds for grixis and probably be fine um just things to think about but yeah let me know what you thought about this uh list if you have a better one or a different kind of admiral brass let me know like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.